Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to Caring Medical Florida here in beautiful Southwest Florida. In 2009, I wrote a paper that was published in Practical Pain Management. This is the article. You know, Practical Pain Management goes to a lot of doctors who are involved in pain management. And it was a retrospective, meaning that it was data from a charity clinic that I ran in rural Illinois. And it basically involved 36 elbow patients that were treated with prolotherapy. The average person had, a, I believe, around 4.3 oh, 4 prolotherapy treatments. So the neat thing about it was this questionnaire was done 31 months after their last prolotherapy session. So you got to realize you know, like the data is valid in the sense that it's th it's almost three years after their last prolotherapy session. So did the results last? How were the results? So elbow instability can cause all these things. Or ligamentous elbow instability can cause tendinosis, tendon tears, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, epicondylitis, osteochondral defects, and it's notorious for causing ulnar nerve irritation. Prolotherapy involves injections of natural substances. Because this was done at a charity clinic, the only solution was dextrose. So we, it wasn't PRP, it wasn't stem cells, it wasn't that, it was a charity clinic. In rural Illinois, we would see anywhere from 300 to 500 patients in a weekend. And, you know, basically we're doing, we were doing the medial elbow and the lateral elbow, so it was a comprehensive treatment. We would do various stressor maneuvers, poke on the area, figure out where, where the injections were going to be done. But basically, the, the treatment was comprehensive prolotherapy, meaning every person got numerous, numerous injections. Most of the patients were female. They had the pain for four years. They were middle-aged. They saw several physicians before prolotherapy. Most people were on a pharmaceutical drug for the pain. About half of the patients were told by their doctors before they came to the charity clinic that there was no treatment available that was going to get rid of their pain. So there was 36 patients that we treated. 15 of them, they were told that there was no other treatment options, like their doctors had already written them off. And you'll see that the average pain level before prolotherapy was 5 down to a 1. And even with the patients who were told there was no other treatment option, they had statistically significant pain relief. So it reached statistical significance. Before prolotherapy, their exercise ability over 30 minutes, only 33% could do it. After prolotherapy, 86%. So significant, significant results. And then this is what a treatment looks like. This is tennis elbow the lateral epicondyle, so you see me doing a comprehensive treatment there. Then you'll see how I do comprehensive uh, treatment or on the radius bone here, and that's where the radio collateral ligament and annular ligament of the elbow is located. So, And then you can see the treatment goes by pretty quick. It's so lots of injections. So a comprehensive treatment of the elbow is a lot, a lot of injections. And you could see like sometimes I got to use two fingers, like that's how much force it takes. Even though I've been doing it for a long time, it takes so much force to inject where the ligament attached to the bone, get a little bit of bleeding. So I'm seeing where the end of the uh, radius bone is there. So I make sure that I stay right on the bone. So I'm hitting the bone, hitting the bone, hitting the bone. And I got my Snoopy Charlie Brown scrub top on so I'm happy. Yeah. It's kind of a close-up view of a comprehensive prolotherapy treatment of the elbow. But elbow arthritis, uh, tennis elbow, ten elbow ligament tears, tendon tears. So we do high resolution ultrasound in the office to look at the tissues, and you can see with high resolution ultrasound that the tissue density, uh, the echogenicity and everything of the tissue under ultrasound, you could see that the there's new tissue being laid down. So that's kind of cool with the new technology or the technology that we have in the office. You can 
see the response to prolotherapy. The, like I said, the average person in this study received four prolotherapy sessions, and this is the medial elbow. So my finger is where the ulnar nerve is, so I make sure that that's not hit, and we'll do a comprehensive treatment of the uh, ul ulnar collateral ligament. That ligament is injured in throwing sports, so uh, field hockey, lacrosse, uh, football, basketball, baseball, javelin throw, tennis, yeah, that can be in tennis too. Uh, and then they used to do a lot of surgeries for the ulnar collateral ligament. They just don't do it anymore. Even some complete tears, if you brace them and you do prolotherapy in there, you know, uh, the, the edges, the ends can reattach. So even severe tears we've seen it respond really well. And again, this charity clinic, we just use dextrose. If there's a ligament tear or tendon tear in private practice, most doctors would use some platelet-rich plasma to enhance healing. And you can see the person, they're doing fine. It looks more painful than it, than, than it is. It's a very thin needle and this person's doing really well. But you can just see how comprehensive prolotherapy it's a it's a lot, a lot of injections, but for chronic elbow pain, it works really well, really, really well. And even me and my injection arm, I've had to have prolotherapy. I actually had a, I was lifting weights a lot when I was training for the Ironman and uh, it, it, you know, cured me basically. I've been fine. You know, imagine all the force I put on my elbow and then the prolotherapy repair has lasted all these years.